It was a Sunday to forget for Cincinnati Bengals running back Joe Mixon. The day started with high hopes and the usual pre-game excitement, but it quickly turned into a nightmare that neither Mixon nor Bengals fans will soon forget. During the Bengals' Week 2 matchup against the Houston Texans, Mixon suffered a gruesome injury. The game was intense, with both teams fighting hard for an early season victory. The stakes were high and every play mattered. The play, a seemingly routine tackle, ended with Mixon writhing in pain, clutching his knee. What appeared to be just another tackle quickly turned into a scene of concern and worry. Mixon's face contorted in agony, and the stadium fell silent as fans and players alike realized the severity of the situation. The diagnosis, a sprained MCL, sidelining him for several weeks. The medical staff rushed to his side, and after a few tense moments, it was clear that Mixon would not be returning to the game. The news spread quickly, and the impact on the team was immediate. The culprit, a controversial tackle technique known as the hip drop. This method, where a defender drops their weight onto the ball carrier's lower body, has been a topic of debate for some time. Critics argue that it puts players at unnecessary risk of injury. This maneuver, often employed by defenders to bring down ball carriers, has come under intense scrutiny for its potential to cause serious injury. The hip drop tackle is effective, but its safety is highly questionable. Many believe that the NFL needs to take a closer look at this technique and consider banning it altogether. The incident has ignited a firestorm of debate about player safety and the NFL's responsibility to protect its athletes. Sports analysts, former players, and fans have all weighed in, with opinions ranging from calls for immediate rule changes to arguments that football is inherently dangerous and such injuries are part of the game. Mixon's injury is just the latest in a string of high-profile incidents that have raised serious questions about the NFL's commitment to player well-being. The league has made strides in recent years to improve safety, but incidents like this show that there is still much work to be done. As the league grapples with the fallout from this latest controversy, one thing is clear. The debate over the hip drop tackle is far from over. The NFL will need to address these concerns head-on if it hopes to maintain the trust and support of its players and fans. The future of the game may depend on it. The hip drop tackle, as its name suggests, involves a defender dropping their hip onto the legs of a ball carrier during a tackle. This technique has been a part of football for many years, often seen as a last-ditch effort to bring down a player who is otherwise difficult to stop. The move requires precise timing and positioning, making it a skill that some defenders pride themselves on mastering. The technique is often used to bring down larger, more powerful runners, using the defender's body weight to leverage the tackle. This method can be particularly effective against players who have a lower center of gravity or those who are adept at breaking through traditional tackles. By using their own body weight, defenders can neutralize the momentum of the ball carrier, making it easier to bring them to the ground. While seemingly effective, the hip drop carries significant risks. The sudden and forceful nature of the tackle can catch both the defender and the ball carrier off guard, leading to unintended consequences. The technique has been scrutinized by medical professionals who warn about the potential for severe injuries. The force of a defender's hip landing on a ball carrier's knee or ankle can be devastating, leading to sprains, ligament tears, and even fractures. These injuries can sideline players for weeks, if not months, and in some cases, can end careers prematurely. The impact on the joints is particularly concerning, as it can lead to long-term damage and chronic pain. The awkward angle of impact makes it difficult for the ball carrier to brace for the hit, increasing the likelihood of serious injury. Unlike other tackles where the player can anticipate and prepare for the impact, the hip drop often comes as a surprise, leaving the ball carrier vulnerable. This unpredictability adds to the danger, making it a controversial topic among players and coaches alike. The NFL has taken steps to address the dangers of the hip drop, issuing warnings and fines to players who utilize the technique. These measures are part of a broader effort to enhance player safety and reduce the incidence of serious injuries. The league has also invested in research to better understand the mechanics of the hip drop and develop safer tackling techniques. However, the league's efforts have been criticized as inconsistent and insufficient. Players and coaches argue that the rules are not always enforced uniformly, leading to confusion and frustration. 
Some believe that more stringent penalties are needed to deter the use of the hip drop, while others feel that the technique is an essential part of the game that should not be banned outright. The debate over the hip drop tackle highlights the delicate balance between preserving the physicality of the game and ensuring the safety of its players. Football is inherently a contact sport, and the challenge lies in finding ways to maintain its intensity without compromising player health. As the conversation continues, it is clear that both sides have valid points, and finding a middle ground will be crucial for the future of the sport. The ongoing dialogue between the league, players, and medical experts will play a key role in shaping the rules and practices that govern the game. Following his injury, Joe Mixon didn't hold back his frustration. Taking to social media, he expressed his anger and disappointment with the NFL for what he perceived as a lack of action against the hip drop tackle. In a series of tweets, Mixon called out the league for its inconsistent enforcement of rules designed to protect players. He argued that the hip drop tackle is a dangerous and unnecessary maneuver that puts players at risk. Mixon's social media outburst ignited a firestorm of reactions from fans, players, and analysts alike. Some supported his stance, echoing his concerns about player safety. Others defended the tackle, arguing that it's an inherent part of the game. The controversy sparked a larger conversation about the NFL's responsibility to protect its players and the ongoing debate over what constitutes a legal tackle. Section 4, Coach Ryan's Responds, Defending the Play The tackle on Mixon was made by Houston Texans linebacker Denzel Perryman. It was a pivotal moment in the game, drawing significant attention from both fans and analysts. The intensity of the tackle and the subsequent reaction highlighted the physical nature of the sport. Texans head coach Demeco Ryans defended his player, stating that he didn't believe the tackle was malicious or intended to injure Mixon. Ryans emphasized that Perryman was executing a standard defensive maneuver, one that is taught and practiced regularly in the league. Ryans, a former NFL linebacker himself, argued that the hip drop is a common tackling technique used by defenders to bring down larger ball carriers. He explained that this method is often necessary to counteract the momentum and power of offensive players, especially those with significant size and strength. He emphasized that Perryman was simply trying to make a play and had no intention of hurting Mixon. Ryans pointed out that in the heat of the moment, players must make split-second decisions, and the primary goal is always to stop the opponent's progress. While acknowledging the risks associated with the hip drop, Ryans maintained that it's a fundamental part of the game. He noted that football, by its very nature, involves a high level of physical contact and that certain techniques, while potentially dangerous, are integral to the sport. He stressed the need for players to be aware of their surroundings and to take precautions to protect themselves from injury. Ryans highlighted the importance of proper training and conditioning to minimize the risk of harm, both to oneself and to others on the field. Ryan's comments reflect the complex and often conflicting perspectives on the hip drop tackle and its place in the NFL. The debate over such techniques underscores the ongoing challenge of balancing player safety with the competitive nature of the game. As the league continues to evolve, so too will the discussions around the rules and regulations that govern it. The NFL has been proactive in addressing safety concerns, implementing new rules and guidelines to protect players. However, the enforcement and interpretation of these rules can vary, leading to differing opinions among coaches, players, and officials. Fans and analysts alike have weighed in on the issue, with some advocating for stricter penalties on certain tackles, while others argue that such measures could fundamentally alter the nature of the game. The passion and intensity of these discussions highlight the deep connection that many have with the sport. Ultimately, the conversation around tackling techniques like the hip drop is a testament to the ongoing evolution of football. As the sport continues to grow and change, so too will the strategies and methods employed by those who play and coach it. The goal remains to find a balance that preserves the integrity of the game while ensuring the safety and well-being of all participants. Section 5. The NFL's Dilemma Rules versus Enforcement the controversy surrounding the hip drop tackle highlights a significant challenge for the NFL, balancing the enforcement of rules with the preservation of the game's physicality. The league has attempted to address the dangers of the hip drop, issuing warnings and fines to players who utilize the technique. 
However, these efforts have been met with criticism from players and coaches who argue that the league's enforcement has been inconsistent and confusing. The NFL's challenge lies in defining the line between a legal and illegal tackle. While the league has made strides in recent years to improve player safety, the debate over the hip drop demonstrates the ongoing struggle to balance the inherent physicality of the game with the well-being of its athletes. Section 6. Echoes of Chase, Similar Incidents, Different Outcomes The Joe Mixon incident is not an isolated one. In recent years, the NFL has witnessed several high-profile cases involving the hip drop tackle and its devastating consequences. One notable example involves Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase. In a 